Mono printing is an easy and fun technique that allows you to create beautiful and unique prints with minimal supplies. This is a technique I've taught to children and adults for many years. The results are always beautiful and surprising. You'll need something to use as a printing plate. I often use artist palette paper, but if you don't have that, freezer paper works great. I took the cardboard from the back of a pad of paper and wrapped it with freezer paper using masking tape. You'll want to make one of these for each color of paint you're planning to use. I taped the printing plate to my tablecloth. Next, you'll need a couple different sizes of brushes, something to hold your paint. Here I'm using Blick um, brand, but any kind of tempera or acrylic paint that's already in the liquid form, a sponge brush, and a couple tools to remove paint. Here I'm showing you some colored paper options. I use my own painted paper, but you could buy construction paper, good quality construction paper, or cardstock. I like to have some photo references. You can do a Google search on whatever theme you're using. For this demonstration, I'm using the trees against a winter sky. Like I said, you can use tempera paint, which is great for working with children, or acrylic. You just want it to be not um, a stiff body paint. If it is, you can mix a little bit of water with it. So now I'm using um, a medium sized brush and just painting on the printing plate, which is my freezer paper. You want to work kind of quickly because you don't want your paint to dry out before you get to chance to pull a print. So that's why I always like to choose a really simple subject matter. You want to place your paper face down on your printing plate and then use even pressure, gently transferring the paint onto your paper. I make sure that my hand is flat and you can peel up a side to check how you're doing and add a little more pressure where needed. You can do another print that is similar by following over your lines and adding more paint. There's another technique I want to show you that's called a subtractive technique. You start by coating the entire printing plate with paint. You can see I didn't tape down this plate here and it's wiggling around. So make sure you tape down your plate and use a sponge brush to get an even coat of paint everywhere. You want to make sure it's not thin in some areas and thick in others. Now I'm using a small spatula to remove the paint. You can do your drawing by removing the paint. I've also used Q-tips in this technique, but to draw the trees, I thought the spatula was the perfect tool. So I'm just using the edge to get the tiny branches and the full flat side to remove more of the paint.
You can do more prints using the same plate by just using the sponge brush again and covering the entire plate with a layer of paint. And now I'm going to do the same process with white paint. It's a little bit harder to see, so if you want to just see the results, you can always fast forward. But I'm starting with the additive technique and using colored paper. I wanted to try to make one look like birch trees, so I used a thick brush to paint the trees. And then I used the artist palette knife to draw the marks on the, on the tree trunks. Eh, I wasn't too crazy about how it turned out, but I thought I'd show you that technique if you wanted to try it. My favorite technique is the subtractive technique where you cover the entire printing plate with paint and then use a tool to remove the paint. There you have it. Here's a close-up view of some of the prints. I love the markings you get with printmaking. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't be afraid to try it with your kids. Nieces, nephews, grandkids, grab the neighbor's kids. It's an easy and fun project with not a lot of cleanup.